Is giving things in advance biblical? Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowan Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for minister. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sun Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Since my son was very little, he used to say, thank you, mommy, whenever he wanted something from me. Then I would end up laughing and giving in. How could you refuse when you have already received one's thanks? From somewhere along the way, I also have acquired the habit of thanking in advance to God. This prayer, thank you for selling this house, was on my lips for eight months while we waited for it to be sold. But God waited for eight months so that the house could be finally sold at the best timing. Even recently, I expressed gratitude in advance as we were in the process of buying a mobile home. Thank you for letting us move into the new house. I prayed as if everything was already decided and we already moved in. But from somewhere along the way, I wanted to ask the Lord if such prayer is indeed biblical. Lord, is this kind of prayer biblical? The Lord explained about it using the scriptures. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ for you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 through 18. Giving thanks in everything is God's will. Everything you wanted to know about God's will appears in this scripture. It clearly means that being joyful, being thankful, praying is the very will of God. And everything means in all circumstances. Therefore, this scripture means you ought to be thankful in good things, bad things, things which have already occurred, things which have not yet occurred, even when you have received damage, when you are happy, when you have got the promotion, when things did not go well as you had intended, when the decision was made against your will, be thankful in all circumstances. I know it is not easy to do so. But the characteristic of those who confess thanksgiving is that they pray with total dependence and trust on me. It means they trust me totally, and no matter what happens, they are confident of my providence that I would work everything for good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 107, verse 1. They trust in my character. They believe my providence for them is good and big name yet. And they confess that I always give the best to my children. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Matthew 7, verse 11. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Psalm 107, verse 9. Everyone with thankful heart has such faith. Even though nothing is visible, there is the confession of faith that the loving Father will provide them with good things and satisfy them. Also, they have the sincere gratitude toward God who has taken care of them in the past, in present time, and into the future. It is the faith in God who has led them in the past, satisfied with good things, and will continue to do so in the future. Therefore, 
Gratitude belongs to those who rely on me totally and be thankful. And rescued us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 136, verse 24. Meditate on all the scriptures about gratitude. They give thanks to God's work achieved in the past, but at the same time, they also confess that God's mercy is everlasting. This is the confession towards God's character that what he has done in the past, he will do the same forever. Eternity always follows after the confession of giving thanks. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 136, verse 1 to 11. In Psalms, as they give thanks to God for all the achievements in the past, they also confess that God's mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lonely state, for his mercy endures forever, and rescued us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 136, 23 through 26. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now say, his mercy endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1 to 4. The object of gratitude in Psalms is God who has the everlasting mercy. The reason to give him thanksgiving is because he is merciful. Not just because of his goodness and mercy, but the important fact is that his mercy is everlasting. Based on this basis, they continue to lift up the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Have you recognized anything from this point? Usually we say, thank you for the pregnancy, thank you for the nice house, thank you for our good health, etc. We thank when the things we wanted are achieved, but unlike the author of the Psalms, we hardly thank for God's everlasting mercy. Actually, it does not feel realistic for us. Since it is such a profound confession, it is difficult to approach. If you trust God's everlasting mercy, you will be thankful always. And even when the things do not go well as planned, you will still have unwavering faith and be thankful. What would happen when things do not get accomplished and you are not even impatient? There is no need to worry because you believe the merciful God will provide you with the best. If you reach that state, your life will enter into peace. There is nothing to fear and no reason to be impatient because the father knows well about his children and he will provide the best things for them. Matthew 7, verse 11. If you understand eternity, you can also understand about giving thanks in advance. 
there is no time in eternity. Therefore, when we think for the future from the viewpoint of eternity, it is like thinking about the past, present, and the future. From any point in the future, you can trust and be thankful because God will provide the best for his children. It is not thanking for your will to be done, but rather it is based on the faith that God's mercy will choose the best and will lead you. By the way, my prayer, thank you for giving us this new house, does not seem to fit into giving thanks in advance, does it? It would be better to pray like, thank you for leading us to the best house. For a family with an issue of infertility, this is a good prayer of thanksgiving according to the promise of the word. Thank you for letting us see the children of our children and witness the prosperity of Jerusalem. I will say the gist of it again. Since you do not know which house would be the best, rather than praying, thank you for letting us move to this house. Better to pray giving thanks in advance. Thank you for giving us the most appropriate house. In order for that to be achieved, God could either prevent or lead the purchase of that particular house. Even though thinking in advance is surely a beautiful thing, it has to be the confession of faith based on God's everlasting mercy, trusting his goodness for your future just as he has led you in the past. You must pray according to the belief that God gives the best to his children as well as he will cause everything to work together for good in any circumstances. The prayer ought to be based on the faith that God will allow the best for you. God reigns from eternity to eternity. He is the beginning and the end and he intervenes and leads the history. It is a beautiful thing to pray and give thanks in advance as you confess him as the Father. Just revise the content of the prayer. If you pray, thank you for giving us this house. He could allow even if it is not the best one for you. You must pray, since you know everything, thank you for leading us to the best house. God will receive that prayer with gladness because you show your trust and praise God's nature of giving the best to his children. Also, from the viewpoint of eternity, it becomes something that has already occurred in the past. Since you do not have the knowledge structure about understanding eternity, it might be difficult for you to comprehend the prayer of giving things in advance. But just understand this point. The most valid reason for giving thanks for the past, present, and the future is because God's mercy endures forever. Lord, I understand well now. I will give my prayer of giving thanks in advance according to the promise of the scriptures. And I will pray with the trust that the Father gives the best for his children. Thank you. In Hebrew, Menuah is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menuah as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yundamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.